presentation. That's why I got a headset on. Um, and I'll be posting this for individuals that are not in class um, for them to be able to watch as an ed puzzle. So you guys in class will not need to do it, but people outside of class will have to watch it as an ed puzzle then. So we're talking about chapter four, and chapter four is peripheral. So when you hear the word peripheral, what do you think of, Allie? Yeah, so you have your CPU there, and peripherals are going to be all of those things that you connect into them. So we're going to go through and talk about peripherals. So uh, these are going to be the main things that we're looking at. So we're going to take a look at the various functions of different peripheral devices, as well as connect a KVM to multiple computers and connect peripheral devices using the appropriate cables and connectors. What you're going to find, peripheral devices can be as simple as a USB keyboard or very complex as a security system with cameras, motion centers, and biometric devices. Some peripherals are required for a computer to function properly. Others are used to expand the functionality of the computer. Okay, so you're going to find that our, our peripherals are going to be divided into three areas. Okay, here are our key terms that you will need to know. Um, so when taking a look at this, I always like your key terms when you look at them first to see is there any of them out there that I don't know? And that would be the ones that I would kind of clue in on. Has any of you ever heard of NFC? You've heard of NFC? How have you heard of it, Pepe? How have you heard of it? Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's going to be any of those tap and pay apps where you put your phone on there and tap it and go, that's going to be your NFC connection. So great example there. Okay, um, and then a KMV, which is going to be your keyboard, video, and mouse, hence KMV, that's what that stands for. So here's our exact definitions. Um, so digitizers, those are going to be scanners or graphic tablets or 3D scanners. We've talked about input devices before, and then you have an input and an output. So for example, input-output could be like your DVDs or flash drives. Um, a KMV switch is allows you to have multiple computers to a single keyboard, mouse, and monitor, okay? Not having multiple monitors on one computer, but multiple computers to one keyboard and monitor. A lumen is going to be the indication of the amount of light. We talked about our NFC, so talking about our tap and pay, and then we have our output devices. So when we talk about our different categories, our first category is going to be considered an input device. That is what we use to, to get information onto the computer. Most common input devices are going to be what? You've already used them today right when you walked in the room. Keyboard and mouse, okay? Very common ones are going to be there. So our second um, type of device is going to be our output device. What's the most common output device you use? Monitor, okay? What's the, probably the next second most? Output could be speaker, but then you also have a printer, right? Yep, all of those are going to be there. Okay, a projector for sure. Okay, and our third category combines both input and output devices. For example, a touch screen is going to be a combination of input and output. Think about the screen on your phone. It's in and out. Okay, and then we also have our KMB switch, which allows our computers to um, use one of them. So the very first thing we'll take a look at is going to be... Um, Requires very little configurations, they're plug and play, but you still need to know these things in mind. Our most common is going to be our USB or your Firewire, okay? Um, there are uh, some peripherals devices use connectors that are specific to the device. Others use um, display devices that are specific connection types. Other peripherals uh, devices connect wirelessly using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or infrared. Whatever the connection type, you want to make sure it's compatible with the computer it will be used. Anyone ever used FireWire before? It's, it looks like a cable, except it just acts different and faster than USB. And it has a different connection on the back of it. So you can have a FireWire cable. So we need to make sure our 
Connection devices will hook up one of these three ways. For example, I'm sure some of you have um, Bluetooth speakers, right? Every night you use them, there you go, okay? The next thing you have to keep in mind is the system compatibility. Some peripherals have system requirements, for example, as a minimum CPU speed, memory size, or operation or um, operating system. Peripherals should be paired with specific hardware components. Some displays work better with specific video cards. The other thing you need to think about is that after the device is connected, a lot of peripheral devices need little or no configuration, but there are some that require specialized software or drivers that need to function. So for example, a barcode scanner might need the driver and software installed in order for it to work, just as a game controller or a joystick might need its buttons configured or mapped to how you want to play. So um, we are going to go in right now um, and we are going to do our KVM switch together. I'm going to have it open. You're going to have it open. I'm going to walk you through this one. I did this lab this weekend. Um, you want to keep in mind that a switch allows this data center to go between them. And again, multiple computers, one keyboard, one mouse, one monitor or multiple monitors. These are thoughts that you should be able to answer taking a look at peripheral devices. What type of connection do you think is most common? Think about the one that you used right away when you walked in. USB, more of our plug and play. Okay. 